वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यूर टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स नो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे दिस वीडियो इज लाइक सुपर सुपर इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज फाइंडिंग द लास्ट डिजिट ऑफ एनी नंबर इज ऑलवेज लास्ट इन मेनी ऑफ दीज एंट्रेंसेज ओके एंड ट्रस्ट मी दिस इज लाइक द गो टू मेथड ओके आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल हैव एब्सोलूटली नो इशूज इन सॉल्विंग दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट्स क्वेरी क्विकली बिगिन Here we have see what are the last digits in any number. What are the possible numbers of last digits? We have anything from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Only these numbers can come into your units place. Okay, so out of these, zero, zero, one, five, six, and six. Whenever you have any number which is ending in zero or one or five or six. Okay, I'll just write it over here. Zero, one, five, or six. The answer is nothing but the number itself raised to any power. Raised to any power. So here, if you have six thousand one hundred and one, which is raised to a power of thousand and nine. Okay, this looks so big, right? But the answer for this one will be always the units digit, which is nothing but one. Your one two three four five raised to one two three four five. Okay, this also is nothing but the answer will always be five. The last digit of this entire uh, final value of this entire uh, number is nothing but five. Or rather, sorry, the final answer will have the last digit as five. Okay, for this one, nine eight seven six raised to six seven eight nine. Your also because the last digit is what six. So here your final answer will always be six. Now why like that? If you look over here, we have see one square will always be one. One cube will be one. One raised to four will always be one. Okay. Similarly, any number which is ending in five will also have a last digit which is five. Now see, understand five square is twenty five. Similarly, fifteen square is two twenty five. <coughs> Sorry, twenty five square is six twenty five. Thirty-five squares is one two two five, right? So that way you will see that all of these numbers will have the last digit as five itself. Okay. So now <coughs> coming to the rest of the numbers. So here there is a proper trick which you should apply, and after that you will get your answer. But before beginning with that, I would request all of you all that if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. <coughs> Also, students, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answer you can mention in the comment section, and I will definitely let you know whether you're right or wrong. But while solving that question, you will have to use the trick shown in the video itself. Okay? So here, please understand. Very important is you need to divide all the indices by four. Okay? So here we'll start with first one. If you divide seventy one by four, please understand. Here I'm not bothered about my quotient. What I want is what is my remainder. So my remainder over here is, if you look closely, sixty eight is completely divisible by four, right? Or rather, if you want to do it, also you can do the division, and your remainder will be nothing but four. Sorry, three. Right. When you take sixty-eight away from seventy-one, you are left with just three. So your final answer is nothing but taking the last digit, which is two, and raising it to the number of or other power will be nothing but the remainder which we got. So this is two cube. So your final answer will be eight. So I can say that upon actually doing sixty-two raised to seventy-one, my last digit will only be the number. Eight. Okay. I hope your entire uh, you understood how to do this. Okay. I will very quickly revise this. Simply do the take the power divided by four, and whatever is your remainder, you take that as your index for the last digit of the question. So here, if you look, we have one forty eight again. So and that is raised to nineteen. So when you divide nineteen by four, the the remainder is again what? Three, so eight raised to three. So your final answer is what? Five one two. But you need the last digit, right? So the last digit is nothing but two. 
so your actual answer is nothing but 2 for this particular question meaning when you do 148 raised to 19 the unit digit of that entire answer will be just 2 I hope you all are getting how to do these questions okay <clears throat> now very quickly we have 209 raised to 90 now let's divide 90 by 4 when you do that you are left with the remainder of 2 why because 4 into 22 gets you 88 and when you take 88 away from 90 you get the remainder as 2 so now we have 9 we are taking the last digit 9 raised to 2 this is my remainder okay so 9 raised to 2 is 81 so out of this also what is my last digit will be nothing but 1 so my final answer will be 1 for this one for this one it is 2 for this one it is 8 okay so I hope you all are getting the hang of it okay now very quickly let's do one more let's say we have 1 0 2 6 3 the whole raised to 403 so when I divide this I am left with what the remainder as 3 and my unit digit is also 3 so 3 raised to 3 my final answer is 27 so the unit digit for this one will be just 7 okay so for this one now students you might be wondering Achha, what happens when the number is completely divisible by 4 in such a case if you ever come across any number which is completely divisible by 4 then what you have to do is just put 2 raised to 4 okay so here what you get is 2 raised to 4 is nothing but what 16 so 16 so your final answer will have the unit digit as nothing but just 6 okay so i hope you all got the hang of this one okay so very quickly just revise this for one last time all you have to do is check the last digit if it is falling in the category of 0 1 5 and 6 then you don't have to worry about anything just write the number as or as itself okay so if your unit digit is 5 you write the 5 as your answer if your unit digit is 6 then you write 6 as your answer like we did for these three questions okay and if that is not the case then what you have to do is you take the index divide it by 4 and whatever is your remainder you put that as the index of your unit digit of your question and then solve it and whatever is the unit digit of your final answer will be the unit digit of your actual question okay so now coming to the DIY I want you all to tell me what is the answer of 1 2 3 7 the whole race to um, the whole race to 27 do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today i will soon see you in the next video